Do not miss out on an incredible pumpkin display this spooky season. We're talking about the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular. It's taking over Iroquois Park. Park Alliance of Louisville CEO Brooke Pardue joins us. She's going to tell us about this Halloween event. Good morning. Welcome to you. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having us. We're really excited to be here. All right, Jack Lantern. Jack respect and it. I. Yeah, Jack, that's the name of the pumpkin. <laughs> that's, yeah. Well, yes, because this is our this is our little Jack. <laughs> okay. For people who, who are not familiar with this event, tell me about it. What is it? Where's it happen? So it runs, we open tomorrow, mm -hmm. run through Halloween, and uh, every single night, and we have more than 5,000 pumpkins along the trail, hire 30 local artists to carve these absolutely incredible. They're masterpieces. They, they really they are. They truly are. It is. Um, Something that you really can't describe if you haven't been there. You just have to come and experience it. How long is the trail and what is the theme this year? Um, the trail is somewhere between a quarter and a third of a mile, mm -hmm. but folks should also factor in getting to the head of the trail, getting back to their cars, although we do have shuttles available if people need some help. Um, and the theme this year, right here, Wanderlust. Wanderlust. The world is your pumpkin. Oh, I like I it. Like it. <clears throat> so, um, you know, highlighting uh, merry old England and, you know, sort of bucket list locations, and uh, it's going to be incredible. Tell me about your artist. I always look at these pumpkins and think, who in the world created oh, this? Do, yeah, are they are these local artists? <clears throat> they are, they are all local artists, um, most of whom come back year over year. So mm -hmm. the thing that we've been able to see happen is that they continue to perfect their craft, and it truly is um, clear. You know, clearly pumpkins are not a normal medium for most artists, right. but they learn how to work with it. They ha some of them make their own specific tools that they've learned really capture what they want. And um, every year the trail is uh, gets better and better. Talk about how you use the money from this. This is for a nonprofit organization, Parks Alliance of Louisville. How do you put this to work in a way that benefits all of us? So the Parks Alliance of Louisville supports more than 100 of our public parks. So we have 120 parks total, 17 are supported by the Olmsted Parks Conservancy, and we support the other 103, wow. about two thirds of which are in underserved communities. And what this event allows us to do is the proceeds are um, invested in the Parks Alliance, allows us the opportunity to go and raise even more money um, and also do, you know, one-off projects. So right now, um, we are building a new park in the California neighborhood, Alberta O. Jones Park. It's a $5 million project that we'll have a ribbon cutting on in November. Um, and from the proceeds from this event, our organization is supported and allows us to go and raise that kind of money. So, um, and the money that the amphitheater makes on it, off of it, stays at the Iroquois Amphitheater. So it benefits. It's a win-win. A lot win -win. of different places. All right. Thank you for coming to share it with us. We want to tell our friends that if you want to be part of this, we have information on our website. Ticket values change based on time slots. Uh, starts at fifteen dollars for adults and twelve for kids, and then. Some children will get in free. You can buy your ticket ahead of time online. And again, it benefits the parks that uh, you see throughout our community.